Hi, my name is Franklin from Wasatu International. In this video I will be showing you our VDaily solution. Our VDaily solution is a solution that helps you to manage and to organize all those programs, functions or scripts that you need to run on a daily basis or that you need to add to a cron job. It's really useful to run functions like connecting to a provider or to update information, to update selling price, all those kind of functions that are to know automatically by a cron job. I will be showing you in this video how it works with our providers connector and with our ICAT connector. But first of all I will be showing you the first steps of using this solution. If it's the first time you are using this solution, you just have to unpack and uh, drop it onto the models folder and then you will find it onto the Wasato models section. In this case we are working on a PrestaShop shopping cart. To enter on the configuration section just click on configure. As you can see here I deleted everything from this store to show you perfectly how it can be so useful to have this kind of tools. In this case with the providers connector I erased all the products, all the manufacturers and all categories. So you can see everything is zero. First of all this is the first window you will see from the from the module. As it's the first time this this wiring is showing. This wiring is only shown if you have the ICAT iron, otherwise it will not show. I will show you the front office of the, the store. You see there is no categories, no manufacturers, no products, everything is empty. I empty everything to show you how this works. So let's go back here. As you see, I just added three options here. The ICAT add-on and uh, two providers to show you how this works. You can add as many providers as you want. You can have a whole list of providers. Just for example purposes, I added these options here. But first we have to configure our providers. ICAT is considered as a provider, so you will see a whole list of providers here. This is the actual list of providers that we actually that the model actually is able to connect with but you can add as many or any other provider that you have the most important thing is that you have access like FTP access or HTML access any kind of access to the files these files can and that these files could be downloaded on a daily basis if you have this kind of access then you can use this provider's connector first let's configure our ICAT well, to configure ICAT is quite simple. You just need to enter your login and password from the ICAT. Let's do mine here. And save. As soon as we save, the warning is, is gone. So as you see here, we have many options that we can update from the ICAT, which means that every time you update the product from a provider, it will connect to ICAT and will update the technical information from that product. I just put it here to show you that this, there is the possibility to use it, but we are not going to use it in this example because it takes around 3 seconds to update this product, so we don't have that many time if we update, if we download like 10,000 products, it will be too long for this example. But just to show you all the the things that you can do with the ICAT connector, you can update features, images, product image, product name, for description, long description, you can update in all languages if that's the case of your country, if and if you have our other model to configure the CEO, you can update the CEO configuration of the products as well. And up here we have some more options. You can categorize the provider's products according to ICAT. Sometimes the providers doesn't give you the categories of the product and it's quite difficult to categorize the product so there's the option to categorize against the information from ICAT. Another big problem that have many providers is that they don't have the name of the manufacturer is wrong or they have the wrong EN so it's not possible to find this product on the ICAT catalog so we have an option here to avoid this kind of errors to relate our products to the ICAT. What it will do, it will try to find with all the information, it will try to find the ICAT ID, it will put it there so when the time comes to update you will have the ICAT ID so the, the 
if you have an uh, average of, I don't know, 90% errors, now will almost no errors to update products. Then another option we added here to this is to update all new in daily import products. Well, Isaacat have a daily list when they change a product configuration or technical information, probably there was a mistake or probably they added new photos or something changed on that technical information from that product, well they put it on a daily list and you can keep it updated that information on your product as well with this option. Another thing that is on this list is all new products available on the market as well. If that's the case, you can import all those products with this option here. You can keep all import of, of all new products. So you have all these functions that you can add, and you can add any more uh, according to the growing of needs of anybody. We can add more options to the ICAT connection here. So let's show you about about Ingram Micro. Well, as you know, Ingram Micro is one of the biggest providers in the world, as well with tech data. So that's why I show you that because most of the people in many countries are working with them. But if that's not your case, you have any other provider, it's no problem. As I told you before, the only thing that you need is you have to have access to your files. If you have access to those files on a daily basis, you can use this model. Well, this is the configuration of a normal provider, in this case Ingram Micro. First of all, we have to choose the provider. We have to already install the provider in our store. You have configured that in store, so we can choose it here. So I have here Ingram Micro, select provider. This is really important to have it there. And then we have two types of access. In this case, mostly it's a FTP access. And uh, I have it on France here, so let's leave it as like that because because I keep the default installation from ICAT and it's with France, so it showed me your default country here. It's really important to have your default country, and here you have to put your use access information, user password from you, and the FTP ser FTP server. As you see here. You have to put the exact link to your file, which means on uh, Ingram Micro is always fashion price, which price will be your folder's name. This is it belongs each customer have a different folder here, and then this is always the same price point. See, it depending on your country, in some countries different, and you just click save. The another option that is on the Ingram Micro is that you can use the international category list. Many of the countries or branches they have, like Spain, France, Italy, for example, they have the category list on their own languages. But many of the times there is not a there is not a complete list of the categories, so it's better to use the international category list. Even though it is in English, it's complete, so you can select all the con all the products that are available. Otherwise, with the category list from your country. Well, not all the products are available because not all the categories are listed on those languages. So that's why we added this function here. Okay, so we can filter the product by type. We have this option here, or we can select the product by category. After I save all the information here, I will show you how this information will be shown. If we go to another provider like Tech Data, you will see exactly the same kind of configuration. In this case, tech data, we'll see you have tech data here. We can choose tech data, save provider, and as well the same XML access, FTP access. So FTP access is the same. We have to put our user, or password, country code. As I told you, I have default info code. Uh, default country from installation is France. So I just left that. So FTP server, we are going to use a um, France connection. So we leave it like that. As you see here, as well, we can select by category. So, in the main settings, you can run this this model. All the functions that are, that we integrate to this model can be run in a cron job. You just have to add this link to your cron job and just put on to run this as many times as you wish. And we have the link here. Otherwise, you can run it from the front page. You just click here update and we'll run. You can update as well the products here. But mostly where we what we are going to use is this this Chrome configuration. 
And as you see here, you have many of the options that you have on your product page as well. We can set new products to active. You can allow orders with no stock, deny orders with no stock. We can deactivate all products with, without quantity. We can deactivate all products without technical information. We can display on sale icons, but we need according to provider. If the provider gives you that information, it's possible to do it here. Just put it on sale. When the provider has it on sale, you can put it on sale at the same time. Or we can use our promo model to create sales. When you can, you want to create your own promotions, you can use it as well, and you can run it, and we'll do it automatically. For prices, we added, with this option, sometimes you just need to connect to the provider. Some providers offer the information every hour. They update the quantity and prices changes of every product. So we have this option here, so you can run this other script because this script up here it updates everything, updates product, twenty everything, and this one it will just update prices and quantities. So it will run much much faster, and you can run it every hour if you want. So if you have many providers, at least more than one, you can set and search the best buying price. So if one provider has one price and the other provider has another price, you will look for the best price to buy. I will put it in that way. So you can always be sure that you will find the best buying price. Another option you have here is to update the selling price. By this is necessary to have the B price model installed. With the B price model you can select the quantity that you want to add to the price you can add a percentage or a fixed price so of, of whatever you want to win so you can update that as well you can as well add discount to products you can add the fees to buying price if it's the case of your country do you have like fees like country fees you can add it if you you can as well add those fees to the eco tax field to show to the people who at the field the government field fees sorry or you can as well deactivate product with price under many times many providers give you products without price so you can deactivate those products or many products that are under one euro you don't earn nothing there so you can deactivate all those products you just put the quantity whatever quantity you want here you can put one 1.5 or whatever 20 everything under 20 I'm not selling that so you can put it here and we can add so many utilities as well a very useful one is to optimize all tables for a store it's really useful you can add warehouse location some providers give you this information or you can add your own information whatever you need you can add the next delivery days and you can add well, you can put some words here if you want and uh, well you can add as many functions as you need here this is just an example of the functions that we are really using but anything that comes in your mind that you need to run on a daily basis it, got, it could be put here so it doesn't matter if uh, you need to run it it could be done